Welcome to Info Media Updates. So today we try to discuss about a data link layer protocols. In OSI model we have total seven layers. First one is the physical layer. Second one data link layer. Third one network layer. Fourth one transport layer. Sixth one. Fifth one session layer. Sixth one presentation layer. Seventh one data, uh, application layer. In physical layer we transfer the data in the form of bits. In the same way in the data link layer we transfer the data in the form of frames in network layer we transfer the data in the form of packets in every layer we have protocols protocol means a set of rules and regulations suppose data link layer protocols it is divided into two types one is noiseless channels and the one is noisy channels again noiseless and noisy channels these two are using to communicate with each other using to transfer the data from one system to another system Noiseless channels again divided into two types. One is simplex, and the one is stop and wait. And noisy channels divided into three types: stop and wait (ARQ) and go back and (ARQ). Selective repeat (ARQ). So, in this diagram, uh, in this uh, concept, we need to remember two points. One is ACK. ACK means acknowledgments. (ARQ) means automatic repeat request. These two terms are important. Now we try to. Uh, discuss with examples the first one is simplex simplex means one to one transaction it is a successful transaction suppose sender a send some information to b that is called arrival requesting an, an arrival so sender a send some data to b in the form of frames frame is a unit in data link layer we transfer the data in the form of frames so frame is the unit only that is our data in the physical layer we transfer the data in the form of bits in the same way in the network layer we transfer the data in the form of packets so bit frame packets these all are in just units only we transfer the data in this in the name of these units that's it suppose this is the diagram of go back uh, go back so see here the ack term uh, we are Uh, seeing here ack means acknowledgments the transaction status if it is success or not so suppose the user uh, send uh, a will send some data to b after receiving the data the b will send some data to a the message received successfully this is called acknowledgment the transaction status will send from b to a this is an example for uh, go back here ack means a transaction status next see here go back arq stop and wait arq stop and wait arq means so very simple suppose in your mobile the storage is full or in your gmail the uh, storage is full in this case you need to remove some data then only the new data will come to your mobile or in your gmail so that is called go back arq automatic repeat request automatic repeat request will send data automatically after freeing up some space okay so this is an example for go back uh, sorry stop and wait arq the data is stopped because the storage is full and it will wait for some time after deleting the storage from your mobile or gmail the data will be sent automatically that is called arq automatic repeat request so this is the diagram for stop and wait arq and after that one example for go back in arq go back means completely suppose sender a send some data to b but the b address is not uh, not the correct one so it will simply uh, same data will send to a suppose you are trying to send one mail to your friend you have entered a wrong email in this case automatically uh, the mail will come to uh, reflected in your uh, inbox only because the user id is wrong so in this case we are unable to send data to uh, another person so it means we are calling it simply it is uh, we are calling it as a data lost okay otherwise if there is some technical issue in this case also data lost will occur so this is called go back 
A or Q. Next one is selective repeat A or Q. In this case, suppose from A to B we are transferring some data, but some selected data only transferred to B. We are the B is not receiving all the data. It will receive some selective data only. Suppose while copying data in your system, you have copied first time for 10 uh, songs and after that again you are selected uh, 20 songs. But the 10 songs already uh, you are copied in your system. Now you are trying to copy another 10, uh, 20 songs with the existing 10 songs. While copying it will show one message to you, copy and replace. In this case it means those data already in that uh, uh, you have in your system. So in this case some data only pasted into your mobile or in your system. That is called some selected data only copied in your personal computer or system. So that is called selective means some particular data only saved by the system or mobile. So simply this is about select to repeat a or q a or q means automatic repeat request so a automatic repeat request means automatically it will send data to uh, destination so simply this is about a data link layer protocol thank you